Hello, I'm Charlotte Rosenberg. I'm going to be teaching you today about solar copper plate etching. This is a great way to learn printmaking without having to use acids or other toxic materials. I hope you enjoy. All right, so now that I've got my image, I need to tape it on to my plate. I've already done so. I first, I centered it on the front and then I flipped it over and secured it with just a little bit of tape. All right, this is the exposure unit. You put your image face down, emulsion side down in the center. The light is gonna come from the bottom and shine up onto the plate and that's going to expose the emulsion, solidifying it, making it hard, and then we'll take it to the water bath. I put it at about 60 seconds, that's usually enough to expose the emulsion. So I turn it on, press 60, and start, and we're good to go. All right, so now I'm just going to remove my image from my plate. And I'm going to put it into the bath. I like to put it face up because I brush the top of the image, helping remove some of the emulsion that was not exposed. You might not see the image right away, but after a moment of being in the bath, you'll notice the image will start to appear. Okay, so I'm checking my clock. I'll leave it in here for about one minute. And I'm just gonna scratch the surface here. All right, so it's been a minute in the bath and I've pulled it out and I can start to feel some slight recesses, but I think I wanna get a little bit more of a ridge. So I'm gonna leave it in a little bit longer and I'm really gonna dig my brush into some of these areas over here where I have some really delicate line. All right, so I have run this through the exposure unit a second time. By doing so, I have solidified all of the areas that weren't exposed the first time. So after this area was um, put into the water bath, a lot of the emulsion was removed, allowing the ink to sit into this during printing. Um, but then I still need to solidify that ground underneath that recessed area. So I put it back in the exposure unit. So now it should be good for here I've got a piece of registration board. I've traced around my paper, and now I'm going to measure out where my copper plate is going to sit. I know that my plate is eight by nine inches. If I do this in advance, I can trace around my copper plate, but I've already inked it. So now I need to do it just by measuring. So if this direction is my nine inches and I've got 12 here, 11 and a half, then that means that I can have an extra inch and a quarter on each side. So now I've got the place for my copper plate and I know where my paper is going to sit. When the paper is wet, the plate is here, the paper is gonna go upside down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it along this edge and then I'm gonna drop it into place. So you might just wanna practice that before you get started. Um, let's make sure that our corners are even over here so we can line it up right with the corners. I'm just gonna trace corner a little bit better there. That's really going to help me when the paper's wet and the ink is wet and we're in a time limit. All right, so the corners are lined up, the edge is lined up, drop it into place, and you should have a nicely registered print. The paper in here soaking. I'm going to pull them out one at a time. Drip dry. Once the drip starts slowing down, give it a little shake. 
And then I'm gonna place it on my newsprint. And I'm gonna cover it with another sheet of newsprint. And then I'm gonna take the next sheet, drip dry. And I'm going to cover it up with a sheet of wax paper to keep the moisture in. Next, I'm going to select a color. I'm going to run a bead along my glass. I'm going to take my plate. You'll notice my plate already has some ink in it. This type of ink stays moist for a long time, so I don't have to completely rinse my plate when I'm done working on it. I can reuse some of the ink that's already there. Now I'm gonna take one of my squares and I'm gonna pull the ink off the glass and I'm gonna work it along the plate. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all of the ink inside of each of those little grooves while wiping it off of the surface. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure and I'm working my way all the way down. You can start with more ink and then slowly start to remove ink. So it's an additive and a subtractive process. You want to make sure that you have enough ink to where it completely fills those grooves. Typically, I wear gloves while I'm doing this. Just be aware that the inks will stain your fingers a little bit and you'll have to wash your hands before you handle the paper. I'm trying to get all the way to the edge, but I don't want to get on the edges of the copper, so I'm trying to avoid going off of the edge. After I'm done inking, I'll clean up the sides to make sure that I don't have excess ink. Great, now I feel like I've gotten most of the grooves covered with ink. And so now I'm gonna begin wiping away and I'm just gonna put some of that ink back onto the glass so I can reuse it for the next run. Now that I've gotten most of the ink off of the plate, I'm gonna to start to wipe the surface clean. I'm gonna start with a piece of newsprint and I'm just gonna kind of rub that onto the surface. I'm gonna pick up my plate just to help make this a little bit easier. While doing this, we're wanting to make sure that we don't dig into any of those negative spaces. So we're not pressing too hard. We're just lightly rubbing the surface. You can do this with a cloth too, but you wanna make sure it's a non-fibrous cloth, like a Talatin cloth. Those are specifically made for wiping away ink. However, I also find that many people push too hard with the cloth and they end up losing a lot of the inks in their lines. you leave a little bit of ink on the surface, what you're gonna end up with is a nice tone in the background. If you want your background to be completely clean, you wanna make sure that the surface has a nice copper appearance. So now I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna put the newsprint on top, but this time I'm gonna roll to get the excess ink off. You can use either of these methods, whichever you prefer.
Now, when I pull this off, you'll probably see a little bit of the impression that it's leaving behind. You can also see where excess ink is still sitting on the surface. I'm gonna to try to recycle and reuse my plate, my paper. And I'm gonna particularly get those areas, like the corners, that had a lot of excess ink. I like to leave a little bit of tone, but not so much that you can't see the image. So I'm gonna wipe away as much as I can. Because the, the paper is gonna be wet, it's gonna pick up a lot of that residual tone that's left on the plate. And it's also going to allow the paper fibers to be pushed into those grooves, removing the ink from those areas. Don't forget to wash all the ink off of your fingertips before you move into printing. So you can see that I didn't clean the edges quite well enough. So now I wipe my fingers again. Here. Pick up my paper. Line it up with that edge. Put it into place. Add a piece of newsprint on top to protect the felt from getting wet. And then we'll just slide it slightly underneath. Cover it up with the felt, just make sure that you don't just wrap the paper underneath. Smooth out any wrinkles. It's important to make sure that you smooth out the wrinkles first. Sometimes once the wheel gets going, if you notice a wrinkle, you'll be tempted to reach in. It's very important that you never touch the felt or the roller once that wheel starts rolling. So make sure all of those creases are out before we start rolling. Now we're on the other side of the press. We're removing the blanket. You can see that a lot of the water has been soaked up. Good, doesn't get so far. You'll be able to see a little bit of an embossment that's happening because the paper is wet. And so it's pushed down onto the plate so it leaves this little bit of a nice ridge. Very nice. The only issue is that my registration board had a little bit of ink off to the side. I didn't think that that was gonna get picked up. I thought that was dry, um, but it did. Okay, so we'll try again. This time I've covered up my registration board with a little bit of wax paper to prevent any of the ink marks that are on the registration board from transferring onto the wet paper. And I'm gonna place my plate on top of the guide. And I'm gonna check my fingers after I do that and I'm gonna make sure that I wipe my fingers. Notice that this piece of paper got a little bit of a mark on the back side of it, I'm not sure from where. But I'm going to make sure that that's the back side and not the front side. 
and we'll line up the corners, drop it into place, cover with newsprint, and I'm going to put dry newsprint on top. Okay, so we've got dry newsprint. I'm going to push the whole thing over just a little bit more so I don't have to run the wheel for so long. Cover with blankets. Pulling the blankets tight, smoothing out the blankets before I start the wheel. looks pretty good. I'll put that off to the side to dry. All right, that's it for the day. We're all cleaned up. Enjoy printing.